ดีค่ะคุณผู้ชมอยู่กับโมเบเดลิเชรีนะคะวันนี้อยู่ในบรรยากาศที่แตกต่างออกไปนิดนึงเพราะว่าเรามีแขกพิเศษที่มาหาเราไกลมากๆค่ะแต่เป็นหนึ่งแขกพิเศษที่ตัวโมเบเองเนี่ยอยากจะพบอยากจะเจอมานานเพราะว่าเป็นแฟนของเขานะคะวันนี้เราได้มีโอกาสต้อนรับคุณโจโมโลด CBE ค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ Hello and Hello. welcome to Thailand Oh my gosh I'm so happy to be here Thank you for having us everybody It's such an honor for me oh. to finally get to talk to you because I've been such a fan of your creations for so so long. Thank you. Today we're going to talk about your brand Joe Loves, which is going to be officially available in Thailand for everyone to experience your amazing creations. I'm so excited. Um, me too. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to do an interview, do something called acronym interview mm. because we're going to take the letters from Joe Loves and ask you a little bit of questions about every single letter, what it means to you and um, your creations. What would you like to talk about your amazing sets today? So we're gonna start with, of course, we're speaking with Joe Malone. So we have to start with the J, Joe, Journey. Can you tell us a little bit about your childhood memories? I grew up in a family that didn't have very much money, but there was lots of creativity. My dad was an artist, he was a magician, he was a he gambler. Was a so my, my three jobs as a child were, <laughs> I would go to the markets with him, on a Sunday he would paint and I would sell the painting. So wow. I, you know, I would be in the market and I'd say that's 30 pounds or 25 pounds. And then I'd take the money and pocket it <laughs> because I knew he would gamble it and we'd have no, no, money for food. But then I was also the magician's assistant on wow. a Saturday. So I was, I looked after the rabbits. I knew how rabbits came out of top. I know, very oh different, very different than anyone thinks. But then the third thing, he would take me to the poker games. And I had long hair at that point, long plaits. And he would, he taught me to read marked cards. So I would signal in the corner, <laughs> twiddle my if someone had a royal flush or something, and I could see, all, I knew what all their cards were. So we would always win. So, but, and my mum was in the beauty industry. So my, in between all of those things, and I have a great belief in life that nothing is wasted in our lives, nothing. Mm. Not, the, not where we come from, not, uh, not bad things, not, I mean, everything can eventually come round and make us good. So that I had a very eclectic uh, childhood, and um, I love being a shopkeeper. I mean, I think that really what is what it comes down to. I love creating fragrance, and I love being a shopkeeper. What an amazing story! Who would have thought, right? So, oh wow, this is already very good. Okay, so we're moving on to O. O obsession. Can you tell us a little bit about your obsession with fragrances? I have something called OCD. <laughs> A surprise, surprise, everybody. So I straighten everything up and I have to do that the whole time. And, um, but I have an obsession. I, I don't know whether it's an obsession. Mm. It's a t I'm totally in love with what I do. I love being able to, so each fragrance in Joe Loves mm -hmm. is I'm telling you a story of my life. You know, whether it's Hollywood, or Golden Gardenia, or it's Joe by Joe Loves, or it's Blue Sky Thinking. Every single one is a story, but instead of words, I'm using notes. Mm -hmm. And I trade my nose for two to three hours every single day. So I sit, like this morning I got up at six, I sit and I smell and I smell and I allow my mind just to wander and think and dream. And it takes me on these incredible journeys. You know, it's the most natural kind of thing. And when I don't create fragrance, I am really sad. And I feel like all this pent up emotion and positivity starts to make me feel not myself, shall we say. So I think it is an obsession and I love then taking that and thinking, how do we market it? How do we, I love being part of the storytelling, uh, the creative, and I love, you know, the painting and all the, all the creativity that goes with creating. It's not for me just about creating a bottle of fragrance and building a relationship with the consumer. That's amazing. What about L? Since the brand is called Joe Loves, of course, L, love, we have to talk about love. Can you tell us a little bit about um, the love story in a fragrance? Because you, you've you mentioned that, you know, every single fragrances have their own story mm. and love story behind it. Can you elaborate on that part? 
So I think this is probably the one which the love story began. Palmelo was the first fragrance I created of Joe Love. See, I was on a, a beautiful island called Parrot Key in the Turks and Caicos, and I was walking down the beach, and I just couldn't, couldn't create again. Like, what, what you're, what you're completely Pomelo, by the way, today. In fact, probably I have to just. Yes, I you. haven't I'm gonna, sprayed I'm anything on myself because I know I'm going to see you. Oh, look, there I'm she let is. You Desert pick. Island. So, May, we're now walking along the beach on the Turks and Caicos, and you're, you're listening to me think to myself, why can't I create? Why can't it come back naturally? And then suddenly from nowhere, this baby stingray starts to float in the water right by the side of me. And she walked, she, I walked down the beach and she swam all the way down. She was no bigger than kind of like this. And in the book, there's a picture of me actually walking down the beach. And I got to the end of the beach and she swam away. And I realized, I looked up and I thought, oh, I can create because create, no one owns creativity. Mm. It just wants a relationship with you, wants to whisper in your ear. And Pomelo, I suppose, was the love story. And isn't it nice? I can't stop smelling it. It's it so is. Amazing. I mean, it's the white sand dollars. It's the white rolled towels. It's the fizzy water with the lime. It's my white Erez swimsuit. Mm. And it was the whole moment. My, my skin was just kissed with the sun. And Pomelo just said, you have a, another chance, Joe. You can do this. You can do this. And step by step by step, Pomelo took my hand. All the notes came together. And you can smell, she's so delicate, but so powerful. Her voice is so strong and so powerful, sort of sitting underneath. Um, and all the wonderful Pomelo notes just dancing on top as though you're just walking barefoot down the beach. So yeah, she's my love story. She's the one that gave me the hope that I could uh, do it again. I'm sure that all my viewers can now picture everything that you just told us. It's so amazing. And I say this to every single fragrance video that I do, that I wish there's a button that you can press it and smell everything that I smell. Like, just go to the boutique. It's like salty, it's, it's so salty nice. beach air, isn't it? It's that, you know that, that feeling when you, you go on holiday and you sit on the beach for the mm. first time when you've arrived and you sit there and you just breathe in the, the beauty of what you're seeing. It's, that's what Pamela is, salty beach air. Oh, I think this is gonna be a really good scent for those who are stuck in the office and wanna just, a, a small getaway, you know, just <laughs> wanna get out. What about O? We're moving to O, and O is opportunity, mm. because you mentioned that word as well. What's the best opportunity that has been given to you? The biggest opportunity I've had recently is two years ago, my husband and I, we looked at each other and we said, what do we want to do with our lives? You know, that it, uh, you, you get to that sort of third trilogy of your life, and you think, what do we want to do? And we packed our bags, and we went to live in Dubai. And we went to live on the beach, and we had, we didn't know very many people, I think two or three. There was no business opportunities. We, we still had Joe Loves, we were still running, and you know, we went there to look. Do you know today, we have 17 projects running. We have so many friends, and a banquet of opportunity in the Middle East. And of course, the good news is, I'm not very far from this part of the world. Mm. So it makes actually the opportunities here far more um, interesting and actually, you know, very, I'm able to jump on a plane and be here within a few hours rather than sort of crossing the world each time. So I think the opportunity of living in the Middle East and creating and immersing myself in their culture has been one of the greatest, I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life. I wish I can just one day Find I see a place. Me. I see <laughs> Move to Dubai. Okay, so V, V vision. What vision do you hold when you create Joe Loves? My vision for this brand mm -hmm. is that she changes the world again. Mm -hmm. I did it once. I've done it with uh, products I've created for Zara. We've done Change the World. And it, it was never about creating a bottle of fragrance as a hobby. It was always about the global brand and changing the world. And my vision is that we take these paintbrushes and we paint I teach you to be the artist of your own fragrance. So your body is a canvas. Mm -hmm. Actually, your body is a much nicer <laughs> canvas. And I will teach you with our teams across the world to take paintbrushes and paint into your body, paint into your hair. So you become this masterpiece in fragrance through the power of paintbrush. So that is my vision, is to teach the world to paint with fragrance and uh, enjoy the creativity. And it goes, goes back to the story about your father yeah. being an artist yeah. as well. That's amazing. That's like a full circle. So we we'll take a little bit of mango and Thai lime. Ooh! Smell the lime there, and then we're gonna let that dry. And I'm gonna take a little bit 
of Joe by Joe Love. So I'm going to say, but instead of painting it right on top, I'm just going to zigzag. Um, or I'm going to paint on your back, just a lovely big Joe by Joe Love's heart. It's not going to mark your, your white jacket or anything. So what we're doing is we're looking, you become not just the consumer, mm -hmm. you become the artist. Oh. You become the, you have got the paintbrush in your hand, you decide how your body is going to smell every day. And in this heat here, which I experienced yesterday, it's very hot, put them into ice buckets. Oh. And you can then, so if you're in the office, take a little ice bucket, pop them in, and then you can just ice cold cologne around the pot. They're so great. Wow, now that's amazing. Fragrance has never really had its time in the sun, and it's now. And when we look at the new generations, you know, when we look at opportunity and the vision, is um, I'm seeing, you know, Gen Z, Gen Alpha mm -hmm. especially, just loving these because it's empowering them. If they can paint with fragrance, what else could you do? Mm, exactly. Okay, so we're moving on to E. We're almost done. We're now to E, Essential. You have found it to successful brands. What do you consider the most essential asset or um, asset to possess? I think, um, I don't think it comes down to one thing. I think, I think you have to have passion. Like, I am in love with what I do. I found the thing that I'm brilliant at doing. You know, I know that I'm one of the best in the world who does what I do. Mm -hmm. um, and to have found that early in my life, I think is a pretty, is a huge blessing, a huge blessing. But the essential things, I think there's so many ingredients, but resilience, I think is important. Learning to stand up again when something goes wrong. And often failure is the doorstep to success. If you conquer, something that, that, that is challenging you, the respect for creativity, but I think having a good team as well. If you can have a great product that can change the world, but you can only be in one place at one time. When you have a great team that are inspired and pick up the baton, that's when your business becomes global. Okay, last one. S, story or secret, can be either or, or both. <laughs> what is the story or secret that you would like to share with us the most? <laughs> I think I think I am going to share this secret with you. Um, I thought about this this morning. So I am working on a project. It's not launched yet, and I'm yeah. Listen to this one though. And I'm working on this project which is called 101 Notes. And I'm about 70, 60, 72 at the moment. And at the end, at the end of the project, you will be able to give me a story that made you smile in your life in one sentence. And I will be able to use notes and recreate on your body your story. So that's my secret. It's now not so much a secret, but it is a secret project, but it's not, if it makes any sense, because life, I need life stories in order to bring it alive True. and sharing. And I've started to do it and it's, it's magical. So it's both a story. I'm gonna go into the desert. I'm gonna tell stories. I'm gonna sit on the beach. I'm gonna sit on an old dow. I'm going to just bring scent storytelling to such a different dynamic and really draw in that creativity. I feel like we're gonna to get to hear more of the great story from all your fragrances. And of course, we're gonna create something today for all my viewers as well. I'm not sure what it is yet because my team is not telling me what it is and nobody is sharing anything. So I'm just sitting here being like super excited. But before we do that, can we talk about the most amazing fragrances to me though, yep. that I have experienced from, from Jo Loves. First, Jo Loves, can you talk a little bit more about the scent? So she's in the red bottle. So I'm I'm always dressed when I do these things, I try very hard and, and I, I mimic the bottle. And um, I created this for me. So, you know, one of the privileged things in life is I can create something and be the only person in the world that wears it and when I'm creating that's that's often my my body is my laboratory you know I'm mm -hmm. testing things but this I created and I love grapefruit I love citrus I love bergamot I love lime pomelo mandarin you name it I love any because I like that clean sharpness yeah. of it which you can smell in pomelo mm -hmm. Joe by Joe loves is much more punchy so she has a much more 
Um, she's much more my character. I love when you spray something mm. on me. I'm like, I'm taking it in. So can you smell so it's like it a meze? So I'm telling you the story of my life through the power of grapefruit. Loads of little tiny little grapefruit accords with a really strong, strong base in the bottom of it. So there's lovely big woods mm -hmm. holding this in place. So citrus notes are renowned for when you spray them first of all and then they disappear, don't mm -hmm. they? Here in this fragrance, every level of fragrance yes. is being embedded with another wood. Yeah. And I made this and I wore it one summer in London and everywhere I went, everywhere, everyone said, what is that? And I would get it. I would, I would have metal <laughs> containers and I would get it in my hands and I'd rub it all into my body. So my body smelled of it the whole time. And then I made a hundred bottles and gave it away. And oh. then I realized that it was too beautiful to not share. It's like having, it's like buying a Picasso and putting it in the spare room and no one sees it. And no it. one sees it. Yeah, what's the point in that? You know, enjoy. And so J by J Loves is, is number one across the world for us, um, everywhere we go. It goes with everything. Men love it, women love it. And it just, it loves a party. It loves to sort of swing and dance and play around. Loves all the other notes. Mm. Yeah, so it's, um, it's a pretty special fragrance. I feel like you can wear this scent wherever you are. Like, I mean, in, in the cold winter, if you want something punchy, you want to wake yourself up from you know the gloomy weather in the winter or you can wear it in the summer and feel like so refreshed. If you're wearing sort of white linen or cream or white just just cover your outfit in it because as the sun hits it it gives off the notes again. Last but not least because it has Thai in it I'm so like so happy to hear this <laughs> mango Thai line. This is um, this is a beautiful fragrance. It was created in two places, mm -hmm. but it started here in, uh, it actually was Phuket in Thailand. And um, we went for a, a beautiful Indian wedding and we were there for four or five days. And we rented this beautiful villa with a dark navy swimming pool. Oh. And my son at the time was six, I think six or seven. And my son and my husband would swim every day in the dark navy pool. And I can remember all the colors and then they would stop. And we had these two amazing ladies that looked after us and they would do a carpaccio of mango mm -hmm. with um, lime, lime over the top. Thin lime. And we'd eat it and every time I ate the note, my son would go, you have to create a fragrance like this, mum. It's so, because it was the honey of the mango, it was the sharpness of the lime, but I could never get the balance completely right. I kept trying and trying and trying. And then a few months later, I was sitting in New York City and I was sitting in the Four Seasons bar mm -hmm. and I was watching a bartender take vodka and make a Cosmo. Then he made a dirty martini. Mm -hmm. Then he did sea breeze. Then he did something else. And I thought, gosh, that's it, that's it. And that's often what happens to me is I will create this story and I'm waiting for, the, for, for something else to for, happen. For the right moment. And so I, what I did was I took the mango and made this beautiful, it's got hay in this, like mm. dr a dryness to it. And then I created a shot of Thai lime. And then I took the Thai lime and I poured it into the mango and that's mango and Thai lime. So she's, um, she's definitely from this part of the world, but she's got a little New York heart. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Two di different parts of the world, which is 21 hours apart, but then it came together like perfectly. That. Wow, okay, so I cannot wait to experience every single fragrances. So like I've mentioned earlier that we're gonna create something special today. Let's see what it is. Ta-da! And here it is. Here, you don't know, do you? you I have don't no... know. I have <laughs> no idea what we're doing, but I have definitely heard of the fragrance tapas. We call this your first kiss, the brand. The moment where you kiss the brand and we kiss you for the first time and you never, ever, ever forget it. If I start with the very first one, okay. and the whole concept of tapas is wherever I go in the world, I look at the culture and I try and create, like in Japan, we're working on a tea ceremony. But here, we're gonna take a tagine. This was one of the very first ones. And so here, I'm gonna take a shot. Now this is pomelo. So we're gonna do a whole pomelo tapas for you. So we're gonna take a whole shot of that. And then gonna take some warm water. Ah. You can already smell. You just wanna be love like. A I love this. Look at the whole shape of this, isn't it beautiful? It's telling you a story mm. before. It's like a piece of art, mm -hmm. a tagine. And then we're just gonna swirl. And it's just taking the moment. Everybody's just kind of waiting. Yeah, we're all for like something amazing. <laughs> and here we go. So I want you to close your eyes and breathe. 
And so your first course of tapas has been a pomelo tagine. You could always, you can always go mix mango and Thai lime with this, Joe by Joe loves, but um, that is how it's gonna smell mm -hmm. on your body. The second course of tapas, mm -hmm. it's so funny watching all of your faces. <laughs> like, Everyone's like, like, it's so sweet. <laughs> so we're gonna take a martini, and of course, what we're remembering here is nothing to taste, only to smell it. It's, <laughs> it's tapas for your nose. Please don't taste we're anything. Like getting ready. <laughs> but that's half the point. You see, you've taken something, that everyone's going, she's gonna, you know, she's gonna make a martini or something. Mm -hmm. No. And then we take a cocktail shaker. The kids, so in uh, in the shops, I love it when all the three generations, you know, bring your grandparents, bring your parents, and your teachers. And this is always the one they love the most. Cool. So it's a little Tom Cruise <laughs> cocktail. So now we have. Let's have a little shaky, shaky. A little shaky, shaky. <laughs> this is this is. Uh, then we have a pomelo. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Don't drink it. No drinking, <laughs> no drinking. No drinking. But it's a nice little fresh pomelo cocktail. Oh. And when we do this, we kind of blend and whatever. And the kids, like especially dyslexic children, because I'm dyslexic or autistic, they love this creativity. And you just see them sort of light up. burst. They light up and they burst, because creativity is, we all have a bank account of creativity mm. that belongs to us. And when you invest in it, when you do these things, the bank account goes up. Mm. So that is a fresh pomelo martini. And it's actually perfect for the scent as well, because you feel like pomelo is just so like cooling, so light, so airy, and everything is just like, Oh, so it's yummy. the last one we're going to serve you, <laughs> but this is a paintbrush and to apply body lotion or body cream, get yourself some really, really great paintbrushes. Mm -hmm. And I like the really thick ones, but I love these because you can scoop it up and you, it goes all over your body. And actually, I've, um, I was practicing in, in Dubai and I did a paintbrush body massage Oh, using paintbrushes on the body. That was good. That's another story. That's another that's secret. A, another that's secret's for out. The second episode. <laughs> um, so here we're going to take, so in here is, a body lotion. Now this is a Volute gun that you find in a kitchen. <laughs> Love it. And um, if you take a white sauce or you take cream, what this does is it pumps air into it right. and causes the texture to Whipped paint. cream. Whipped cream, exactly. So I'm gonna give it a good shake. This is the only one that slightly goes wrong sometimes. And we're gonna take Pomelo. <laughs> Nothing goes wrong look, on look, the set. Come on. Look, look at that. This Isn't is that amazing. gorgeous? And if you give me your hand, I'm going to yes. dip this into. So, again, paint brushes. We're going to take it in the lovely pomelo. Take my watch. Look, at, look at the viscosity of that. Isn't that beautiful? This whole arm of amazing gel loves. And we're going to go back <laughs> to, my, to my roots and back to the massaging. Oh, okay. But if you wanted to, you could also mix it with a little bit of this. Everyone is going to have so much fun. Isn't it nice? With and this service. just a lovely... So this is where I started massaging. And it, it, do you know, it comes back so naturally to me. I, I kind of feel like completely at home. And the other day I was um, at an elephant uh, um, rescue mm. and I was massaging the elephant with mud. Oh, it was the happiest day of my life. And the elephant actually got its leg out, came towards me to massage his head again. Her head, sorry, she's a, a, a girl. And I was literally massaging they love it, her. Don't they? Well, I think everybody does. I think, yeah. There I'm we like, go. I'm like, so, so relaxed. Let's give it a little squirt of my Joe Loves on the top. And so those are your courses of tapas. Wow, so you have mentioned that we can actually request this service at um, the boutique. Yes, absolutely. You have to, I mean, if you, if you come in um, by chance, mm -hmm. we will do everything we can to do it, but we have the tapas bar built up. All mm -hmm. the teams have been trained across the world to do it, and it is free of charge. It's our first kiss. But what I would ask is that if, will you tell us the story of your first kiss with Joe Loves? Before we go to the boutique and experience the whole Joe Loves experience at the boutique, is there anything that you would like to say to the fragrance lovers out there that would love to try your brand out? Uh, what I would say is come visit us. We will teach you to be scent artists across the world. Come with a plain canvas, mm -hmm. come with an open mind, and come to experience creativity in such a new level. And you will never ever wear fragrance in the same way again. Lovely. Let's see you the boutique.
หลังจากที่เราได้คุยกับคุณโจมาโลนเรียบร้อยแล้วนะคะแล้วก็ได้ทำทาปาสปากันไปแล้วเนี่ยเราก็เสกตัวเองมาโผล่อยู่ที่บูทีกแล้วเรียบร้อยนะคะซึ่งเราอยู่ที่ Emsphere กันนั่นเองค่ะอย่างที่เขาเล่าให้ฟังว่าก็จะสามารถมาแล้วก็ได้ Experience แบบเต็มๆเลยเล่นได้กับหลายอย่างนะคะแล้วก็แน่นอนความเพ้นท์บรัชใดๆก็สามารถมาเล่นได้อ๋อหน้าตามันจะเป็นอย่างนี้หรอเวลาแบบมาอุ้ยเปรี้ยวนี่อยากลองมากหลังจากที่คุยกับคุณโจมาโลนแล้วแบบเขาบอกว่าวิธีการที่เราจะสามารถเพ้นตัวเองให้กลายเป็นกลิ่นต่างๆได้มันเป็นยังไงนะคะเท่าที่เห็นน่ะมีไซส์ที่แบบเล็กๆด้วยนะคือหมายถึงว่าถ้าเกิดใครยังไม่อยากเปิดตัวเข้าสู่แบบไซส์ใหญ่อะไรเงี้ยนางก็มีไซส์ที่แบบพกพาไปไหนมาไหนได้นะคะเรามาดูตรงนี้กันหน่อยดีกว่าอย่างที่บอกไปนะคะว่าเซอร์วิสที่เป็นทาปัสบาร์เนี่ยสามารถทําได้นะคะเมื่อกี้เราได้ทําแบบเอ็กซ์คลูซีฟกับตัวคุณโจมาโลนไปเองแล้วเรียบร้อยนะคะแต่ว่าที่บูทิกเนี่ยเขาก็มีเซอร์วิสแบบนี้เหมือนกันซึ่งง่ายๆเลยนะคะเดินมาแล้วบอกเขา Request ได้เลยไม่เสียค่าใช้จ่ายในการทำทาปาสแบบเมื่อกี้เลยนะคะแต่แค่ว่าบางทีถ้าเกิดสมมติมาแล้วอาจจะมีการแบบเขาทำทาปาสกันอยู่อะไรเงี้ยก็รอนิดนึงหรือว่าแจ้งเวลาที่จะกลับมานะคะกับทางที่บูทิกได้นะคะว่ากลับมาแล้วเราจะได้ทำอะไรบ้างซึ่งเมนูของทาปาสบาก็คือเหมือนกับที่เราทำกับคุณโจมาโลนไปเมื่อสักครู่นี้เลยนะคะสบายสบายตรงนี้จะได้ Experience ความเป็นโจเลฟส์ได้อย่างเต็มที่นั่นเองค่ะนี่คือบรรยากาศของบูทีที่เราคิดว่าทําให้ทุกคนอะสามารถเข้ามาสัมผัสความเป็นโจเลฟส์ได้นะคะซึ่งถ้าเกิดยังไม่เคยรู้จักกันมาก่อนเลยไม่ใช่เรื่องผิดแต่ว่ารีบมาค่ะเพราะว่าจริงๆแล้วว่าหลายกลิ่นอะมันน่าสนใจมากๆนะคะแล้วถ้าเกิดคนอื่นเขาเริ่มฮิตกันอะกลิ่นคุณจะเริ่มแบบอุ้ยทำไมคนนั้นก็ฉีดคนนี้ก็เราต้องเริ่มก่อนไงคุณผู้ชมค่ะเราจะได้เอ็กซ์คลูซีฟสุดๆนะคะวันนี้ก็เรียกว่าเป็นเอ็กซ์คลูซีฟเอ็กซ์เพรสของมูเมด้วยเช่นกันนะคะที่ได้เจอคุณโจมาโลนซีบีนะะซึ่งเป็นครีเอเตอร์ที่สร้างสรรค์แบรนด์ดังๆมาถึง2แบรนด์นะคะแล้วเราก็เป็นแฟนของเขามากๆก็ได้พูดคุยกันไปครบถ้วนเรียบร้อยนะคะยังไงก็อยากให้คุณผู้ชมนะได้มีโอกาสมาสัมผัสที่บูทิกแล้วก็สัมผัสกับโจเลฟส์นะคะจะได้ลองดูซิว่ามีกลิ่นไหนที่เหมาะกับเราบ้างนั่นเองค่ะเดี๋ยวเจอกันใหม่ในคลิปหน้านะคะวันนี้ขอไปแบบสบายๆในบรรยากาศบูทิกแบบนี้ก่อนนะคะสวัสดีค่ะบาย